Hey guys, welcome back to another Maddie Crafts video. In this one, we're gonna be making a really big and huge diorama. It's gonna be super epic. I'm gonna add as many figures as I can to it. And we're gonna be using this table right over here. We got this table right here to use. It's pretty big and it will definitely suffice for what we need. So that's really awesome. But we're also gonna be using a bunch of stuff on the back shelf here. So we're gonna be using scarabs, we're gonna be using scorpion tanks, we're gonna be using pretty much anything that I want for my old customs as well. And we're just gonna have a big, huge, giant battle. First though, we need to make a ton of big rocks. So we're gonna put you over there on the workstation and we're gonna get right onto that. So we need to cut up some styrofoam. This is pink panther foam that I find from the Home Depot, but you can probably find them at Lowell's or other hardware stores as well. I'm just carving around the edges to make it a little bit more round, and then I'm gluing it to another piece of pink panther foam. Then I'm just going to be carving that to shape as well. Also, I wanna set a like goal for this video. So let's go for 500 likes on this video. I know that's quite a bit, but I think we can do it. And also, if we get it, I will make the part two of the Flood Cult, which will be the inside of the Flood Cult diorama. And it's gonna be absolutely crazy and awesome and something that you're definitely gonna to wanna to see. So make sure you hit that like button. Started taking my big knife and chopping up these areas that were a little bit hard to get to with my small knife. And then I started adding in that rock texture with the big knife. Going in with my knife, carving out huge big chunks, really makes that nice rocky texture. You do lose a lot of material in the process, but it's worth it in the end to make some really nice looking rock. Then I used my fingers and just carved away at little areas to make it seem a little bit more smooth and flush. Now for some paint. We're gonna be using green paint with a little bit of a reddish brown and then mixing that together. And we're gonna be applying it right onto these rocks. I didn't use any black paint to base coat it. I just started straight up with green and it worked really well. Now we're adding white, and this is more of a dry brush to really show those edges, details, highlights, and it adds a lot of natural texture without you really having to do that much. And I highlighted the edges using white and just focusing on those, and then a small dry brush on the very top. Now I started placing them where I thought they should go. Now I need to grab various different things. So I wanted to start with the flood cult. We put that guy right in the middle of this big diorama. And then we started grabbing a ton of other really cool stuff as well. Grab all my recent flood figs, wanted to use those, my flood scorpion. Grab my flood hog. And now we started placing everything down on the diorama. I had to add the flood in the middle and then I made sure I added a ton of these little infection forms coming out. I thought that was a really cool little touch just to make it seem a little bit more floodly and lively coming out of flood cult's home. Let me start working on the banish by adding a ton of hunters down. I 
Now we started added a bunch of brutes. These guys all have gravity hammers going into battle. Then on top of this big rock, a bunch of the banished have taken control. And then all of these suicide grunts are coming around the left side and they're going to go blow up the main part of the flood cult building. And yeah, I thought the suicide grunts running on one side was really cool. Then we're placing down my other grunts on the other side and they're all coming in with infantry. They have their one suicide grunt on the left. He's going crazy as they just keep running in. Now we have some elites on the right side that have taken more control of the middle of the battlefield and they're going to be engaging with the Marines and the Spartans. We also have a bunch of Arbiters holding off against a fire team of Spartans. And then we have all of my Halo 3 Marines lined up fighting these elites with the Halo 3 exosuit. We have the Arbiter in his gang over there with the green elites fighting at the flood. And then we have some Halo CE Marines coming in on the left side with their captain. We also have a bunch of other random figs, marine snipers, a couple cool Spartans. And then on top of the rock, we have my Doom Slayer style Master Chief with his friend Grunt fighting against some honor guards that came up behind him invisible. When I was making this diorama, I wanted to have an epic crazy battle. I haven't made one of those in a long time. I really wanted to get creative and have a lot of fun with this, and I feel like I did. On one side, you have the UNSC fighting the Flood. On the other side, you have the Banished fighting the Flood, and I'm sure a lot of these guys are going to turn into infection forms, and this battle is going to rage on for quite some time. And that's kind of what I wanted to show. I wanted to show a lot of my cool figures. I wanted to show a lot of my creativity and design, and I wanted to show just an overall massive battle because I haven't done that in so long cool when you get to see all of the stuff you work on all the time kind of come together into one great big thing and it's really almost inspiring and makes me want to make more epic stuff so I can make more huge dioramas as well.
you got to this point, thank you. And make sure you ring that notification bell, subscribe, and leave a like. All helps me out a ton. I also have Instagram and other YouTube channels linked down below in the description. So make sure you go check those out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching this epic diorama. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a great rest of your day, evening, or night. Peace out.